before we end heading to Tulsa, see how much street art we can find. I wanted to give you all an update on my, um, try to figure out why the check-in at this park is so late, 6 o'clock, because I put it on, um, all my Facebook groups, and I got a lot of comments that made a lot of sense, like, who wants to check in with the dog? He just went I got a whole lot of comments, like over 300. Comments, because it started at 6 o'clock that day and went until the next afternoon, and I'm still getting them today, which, so it's been close to 48 hours since I put it on the, uh, uh, the Facebook group. But anyway, 99% of the people out there made comments that didn't agree with the 6 o'clock check-in time, and then you always will have your people that, you know, disagree with it, just, I don't know why, but like 1% of y'all that made comments that disagreed with it. But anyway, I, I found the district office yesterday, it was right down the street on 20, and I went in there and I, I talked to the lady in there and she really, she just told me all these policies are made out of Tulsa, so I said, okay, I'll call Tulsa. So I called Tulsa. And finally, somebody called me back after I called three different departments, and a lady called me back. She was really nice about it, and she said, "No, that wasn't the truth. That each park has a park manager, and they're the ones that make the policies for these parks." So she said she'd dig into it and see what's going on, and she'd get back with me before I left Tuesday. So that's where we stand on that situation. So yeah, I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee, and then me and the little man go ahead and toss it. Tulsa, Oklahoma, and see what we can find. Actually, in downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'm actually on Route 66. But check out this view behind me. I don't know what it is, but there you go. Some old Route 66 stuff, but yeah, that's pretty cool right there. I guess this is like a, a souvenir shop or something. But I think what I'm at is a um, souvenir shop, but got some pretty cool stuff. They're having some kind of biker convention here, but check that out. Check this view straight ahead out. Hey, this is a souvenir shop, but it's pretty sweet. Have no idea what it is, but it's some kind of artwork, so let's move on along. Huh. I've never seen that before, and I've, I've seen a lot on Route 66, but pretty cool. Now this is some of the artwork I've been looking for. Um, yeah, there's supposed to be a lot of it down here, so I'm gonna keep on getting up, see how much I can find. I tell you what, this place ain't nothing but all about Route 66, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Here's another pretty sweet one right here. This one's in an alley, believe it or not, but it takes a lot of work to do something like that. I've seen quite a few pictures of this one right here, but this is a real nice one, and this is what is wrote about it. So there you go. Pretty sweet, huh? Very nicely done too. I found these two right here and they got a gate around them so I guess they've been damaged before but that's Leon Russell right there in his younger days. And I'm really not sure who they are because I'm shooting over top of a gate but yeah, there you go. Like I said, they got a gate around this one right here. I'm finding a lot of them, but I'm sure I'm missing a lot of them, too, because it's kind of really hard to get around in a city like this that you don't know, but I believe, I would say that's Hank Williams right there, but pretty cool, isn't it? That's right there. That's something you don't see every day, a British telephone booth. It's got all kind of pictures of the Beatles inside, so it might be dedicated to them. Not really sure. Found another pretty cool one right there at, um, really colorful it really is that's a nice one there too not really sure what the meaning behind that one is but it's colorful it's nice it might have something to do with that right there i've seen that i didn't see it at first but now i've seen it but check out the flags up there pretty cool aren't they that's a nice one there too check out the big old high rise behind it pretty sweet i love it not really sure what this place is but i just i found it in downtown so I wanted to get a shot of it. Pretty cool, actually. A big old globe. Some kind of town square or something, I reckon. I guess a lot of these have been vandalized because most of them are behind chain link fences, but that's where I'm at. 
I'm glad I found this one right here because that's a story within itself. I mean, nice detail in it too. That is a real nice one too. I'm having a really, really hard time parking and finding places to park because a lot of these places are behind fences and got gates and everything, but that's pretty colorful. That's the way you used to advertise back in the day, but yeah, you don't see a whole lot of it anymore. I saw this after leaving the library. I've been uploading the videos, but I just wanted to get a shot of it because I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty nice, huh? Yep. There you go. Okay, it's been a long day, so I'm going to go back to camp and chill out a little bit. It's pretty warm here, so that's the game plan. Go back and maybe catch a football game or so and then work on some more videos. But yeah, that's it. Okay, well, I really enjoyed myself in Tulsa yesterday checking out all that street art, but today's going to be a um, clean camper day, watch football day. Got some barbecue pork chops cooking on the grill. I take everything out and air it outside. I'll show you how I go about doing it. But And another thing, if y'all have a little small pup and they ever have an accident, vinegar will take the smell of urine out of things because little man has accidents here and there. And I just take the vinegar and I, I spray my foam mattress down and air it out, take it outside, air it out, and um, yeah, good to go again, but yeah, this is my little uh, foam mattress, I think it's like um, two or three inches of foam, it's what I put on my bed, and then I put my sheets on it, and that way, um, I don't have to sit on the uh, cushions, I also got a yoga mat right there that gives me a little bit more support when I sit on the corner of the bed right there, because that's usually where I sit, I'm charging up my vacuum cleaner because I'm going to vacuum everything. Check out these pork chops I got going right there. Don't they look good? Yeah. Be eating some good eating tonight. Anyway, uh, yeah, just a, a cleaning house day. Uh, yeah, you got a clean house. You got to wipe everything down. I usually use Clorox uh, cleaner. And I take my blankets outside. And I'll spread them out on the picnic table best I can. I'm also airing out my little slippers. But... Yeah, I'll bring them out here and I'll air them out and then I'll vacuum them real good because little man has real bad dog dandruff and I'm allergic to it. It makes me itch real bad. Anyway, I'm going to spend my Sunday. It, it rained really super hard yesterday. I mean hard. And when it rains out here in Oklahoma, the thunder and lightning shows like going to the 4th of July. I mean, it, it's really wild. It's kind of cute because little man, he's petrified of the booms it makes. But people are out on the lake today. See him going across the lake right there. So, a little bit of action going on. Anyway, let me get back to my cleaning. I just figured I'd let y'all see what I'm doing today. Um, got a couple jet skis out there too. But if you enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, hit that little red button. I'm going to put a link below if you'd like to support our channel. We have PayPal. We also have uh, Patreon. But... Let me give you a shot of little man, then I'm going to go back inside and continue. Say, I is, Daddy. Say, bye-bye. Little man, say, bye-bye.